What's going on guys? Troy back here, episode 33 of 66 Singles Spectacular. And man, we are just climbing the ladder on all these battles. I mean, I'm just getting up to 33. That's really great. I'm gonna get the music started. So first and foremost, this battle um, featuring my friend uh, Young here, but it's actually a uh, close friend, Joe. He's uh, one of my League of Legends buddies. And he was like, yo, I got Pokemon X and Y. I'm like, yo, me too. And this is a really far way, way throwback battle again. Uh, I felt like going through my archives, like, you know, I had some good battles back then. And, um, as you can see, yeah, this is when I used Clef, this is when I used Drifling, pre-Ace Trainer Troy years. So, um, open up with the Clef key. I felt that was safe. Get the screens going. So, it's no big deal there. Uh, he, you know, goes for his little thing there. And, uh, you know, I, go, I have double screens up, so I'm doing pretty good. Uh, goes for an Ice Beam. And, uh, you know, even with the Reflect, uh... Look at that damage. That was no damage, like, what whatsoever. Pops my air balloon. That's fine. Goes for an earth power this time. Actually does some more damage there. I go for a foul play just to get any chip damage. Um, Klefki did his thing. Does about 20%, which is fine. Um, I remember now that I see this battle. Uh, lasts about 31 turns, so you guys better, you know, you guys uh, should be ready here. It is quite a long battle. So next Pokemon is Garchomp. Uh, he saw what was coming. I think this was Scarf. I kind of forget what I brought uh, on all my Pokemon here. So uh, he predicts the Earthquake, uh, brings in the Skarmory. Light Scream goes off. Uh, I switch out um, thinking, okay, I'll just bring in Caesar and try to set up. You know, set up the Swords Dances while he tries to uh, Toxic stall me. I did predict the Toxic, but I guess not. Goes for a Rock Slide. Doesn't do much damage, so I'm okay with that because of Reflect. But uh, it's actually faster than me. So I was like, damn, that kind of sucks. That thing's faster than me. We ain't going to be getting anywhere. And then I get a Flinch. And now that the more I see this battle, and I remember how annoying the Skarmory was. Then I got Flinched twice in a row. Yeah, twice in a row. I get Flinched. I'm like, okay, enough of this. Let me bring out someone that can actually scare him away. Um, so try bringing Driplim. Uh, he goes for another Rock Slide. That's all he's really, uh, doing. Uh, does an okay amount of damage. Uh, I go for a, uh, Stockpile. Uh, here, he goes for a Toxic. Uh, gonna try to stall me out here, which kind of slows down my, uh, Stockpile Baton Pass. And see, this is way back, um, you know, when I used the Stockpile Baton Pass against Verlis, and then, you know, I used on this guy. I was using that as one of my main things. I should bring that back in one of my next 6v6 battles because it is a good strat. I don't know why I stopped using. So, more Rock Slides coming in. More Flinch is coming in. This thing, I think he told me it had a King's Rock, which would be crazy if it did. But then the more I think about it, I'm like, no, nah, I don't think it did. I think it had Leftovers or something smart, which would be crazy if it had King's Rock. But man, these Rock Slides are just too much for me. So, more Rock Slides coming in. I'm not taking any damage. I flinch again, and I'm like, okay, this is just getting ridiculous. I think I go for a Baton Pass here. Uh, no, he goes for a Night Slash. Doesn't kill me. Doesn't flinch me or crit me. Nothing happens. So, I just do go for the Baton Pass just to get any kind of Baton Pass. Bring out Togekiss. And then now, now all the strategy is coming back together. I'll, now, I was going to start to pair flinch him. I was going to... You know, use uh, everything against him. So brings out the Gudra. I go for the Nasty Plot. Man, what was I thinking back then? Nasty Plot Togekiss? I must have been crazy. And it's got a bit, it's got a stockpile. It's pretty good. Even with the Sludge Bomb, that doesn't really do that much damage. And the Dazzling Gleam, I think, like, just mercs this guy. Totally, look at that. Not even half, though, but that's a lot on a specially defensive Gudra. Kind of hope that did more. Um, so, and then I get poison, which was like, okay, I got poison. Um, let's just try to do more damage with the Dazzling Gleam, hoping to get a kill, and I don't. More poison, a another Sludge Wave, or Sludge Bomb will do the trick. He even goes for an Ice Beam. So, um, so far in this battle, not in a good spot. Even though I live barely, uh, we're able to trade Pokemon here, which is cool. I know I'm going to die the poison, I get rid of Gudra, which is kind of a special threat, because... Uh, I kind of, other than like, I think Garchomp, but I, I had nothing else for that Gudra, from what I can, um, think. So, um, back to, uh, Nidoking coming out. I bring out, uh, this is back when he Charizard Y a lot. Even, not even in doubles, I just used it, like, anyway. You know, just Charizard Y, why not? You know? 
Uh, so I think I go for a heat wave. It, this battle, like I said so long ago, I just forgot like what happened. Just I think I did this. I think I brought that. I mean, heat wave. You know, I was like, oh man, heat wave with uh, under the sun man does so much damage. And look at that damage. Uh, this is I think round. You know, when you know X and Y kind of came out, I just got done making this team, and so everything blew my mind. It's like, oh man, heat wave. You know, drought. OP. You know, Greninja was stupid still. It still is a dumb Pokemon. Uh, Garchomp was broken, so I used it, you know. So everything just, I, I just used whatever I liked. And, uh, you know, more and more time went by. I made a lot of Pokemon I, I really liked. So the Greninja takes down the low health Drifflim, which is whatever. Uh, I bring out Caesar, scared him off a bit, I guess. Uh, he brings in Medicham. Um, I guess it wasn't... Uh, I think it was Mega. No, it had Focus Sash, so it wasn't Mega. No, this wasn't even... Oh, so it was Mega, and he lived with one health anyway. I mean, I expected a Sash, and that was crazy, but it doesn't matter. I still have Bullet Punch. Uh, he has a Bullet Punch of his own, but that really isn't going to do a whole lot of damage. Even with the pure power, uh, I still go for my Bullet Punch just to take him down. Uh, Caesar still uh, OP. I mean, I know I didn't have... Um, I didn't have Mega Caesar, but I had Life Orb Caesar, which was good enough. So back out comes Caesar. He tries to Toxic. I don't know why. That was a perfect time for me to start setting my Swords Dances. So I was like, okay, we're starting to get somewhere. Sunlight goes away. Whatever. Didn't really matter. Uh, Skarmory going to Rock Slide, but I avoid it finally. So I get the other free Swords Dance. I'm at plus four attack. I'm finally sitting in a good spot. He goes for a Roost. Uh, thinking that I do something else, but no, I go for the other six stage sword stance. I'm at max attack, bullet punch, hoping to do damage, and it gets him to about half, which is fine by me. Life orb doing a lot on top of the rocky helmet. Now I figured out what item it had. Roost. Now I'm just gonna die the next hit. I mean, all that was a waste. I mean, all of the early rock slides just killed me. It was just too much. Couldn't go for an X's or would have been worthless uh, so pretty much Caesar going down to the skirmery I really wish I had like superpower but this is before Pokebank so you couldn't get superpower if it, I think if I had superpower it might have been a different battle maybe man all those flinches are like just killed me so bringing Charizard the Pokemon I should have brought in earlier but I didn't don't know what I was thinking back then uh, this is a great opportunity to see all my past mistakes which is really good because now I'm like wow uh, I had Scar he had Skarmory, I had Charizard Y, and I didn't do anything about it. So, bring up Charizard Y again, go for the Heat Wave, bring out the Drought again. Uh, he has the leftovers on the Togekiss. I think that's a shiny? I, I don't know, it looks shiny. So, I'm still faster. Go for another Heat Wave. I think I'm able to take it out because it just didn't have the special fence, but I get the crit. So, that helps out a lot. That's really good. So, we're about turn 29. This battle's almost over. Okay, so. Um, kind of spoiled it there. Uh, he goes for a Surf. I think Charizard was my last Pokemon. So I had no choice but to keep him in. I take that Surf like a boss because of the Drought. Go for the Solar Beam. Hoping for the one-hit KO. But this is where I also think that the Greninja was focused, Sashed. Not entirely sure. No, I guess it wasn't even Sashed. Uh, Might have been Life Orb, which would have been another smart choice. Um, Skarmory's his last Pokemon. I know I'm faster. Heat Wave just going to mop the floor. Good thing I saved Charizard Y to the very end. I think that's what was my thought process. Like, okay, I got to save Charizard for Skarmory. And I uh, ended up doing that. And I, I defeated him. I, I think I had Garchomp left. Uh, Garchomp was in the back. Everything, everything else was dead. But another old battle. Another throwback done in the books. Um, pretty good to see, you know, how battles went back then for me. I did bring a lot of uh, OP Pokemon. And I had a kind of cheesy strat on the Drift Limb. But it's fun to look back at these kinds of battles, just to show you guys the way how I was battling before I started YouTube. Um, I think I have a few more of these, but um, might not throw them out there for a long while. I want to do some new battles for you guys. Other than that, you guys do anything you want in the comment section down below. Q&As, anything like that. Have yourselves a great day, and as always, I will see you guys next time.